Knowing the family as well as you do, um, what are you looking for today? Well, I'm really uh, interested in seeing, uh, of course, President uh, Bush 43's remarks uh, and to really, I think, put a bow around what has been a remarkable several days highlighting the life of this really incredible public servant. And I suspect it's going to be funny and emotional uh, and at the same time, you know, really hit on the strongest themes that we've all been talking about here today. Sarah, I thought it was interesting. Uh, according to Alan Simpson, who will be one of the eulogists, uh, the former senator of Wyoming, he said when he was first approached by the family five years ago when the president was hospitalized and asked if he would give remarks, they said they wanted him. <laughs> the, the request from the president, as I understand it, was to keep it to under 10 minutes. Uh, what does that tell you about H.W.? Well, I mean, for one thing, he's always respectful of other people and other people's time. And, and you know, the Bush family is... Uh, notoriously on time. I mean, President Bush, uh, when I worked for him, you know, as a staff person, you knew if you were not in that motorcade, that motorcade was leaving because he was not going to keep people at a convention center or a library or wherever he was headed to waiting uh, on him and his team. And so uh, they were, they're very prompt and respectful of people's time. And you've got four eulogists. So uh, that is a good number of uh, comments, and I'm certain the president's comments, President Bush's comments, will be uh, probably slightly longer than the other eulogists. Um, but it, it's really beautiful to see all of, you know, I saw earlier as you were talking with Carl, you know, Al Gore and Dick Cheney standing next to each other back to back. It's, it's a special time that our country comes together and you see uh, political rivals and, and folks who were enemies uh, at uh, times and had harsh words for each other coming together uh, to really uh, pay respects to uh, our world leaders.